What's up guys, it's Steve over at Diz NE. Today we're gonna do another um, comparison of restaurants. And today we got two really strong restaurants, really great restaurants. We're gonna talk about Yak and Yeti's against the Boathouse. Yep. Um, this one's a little different than last week. These are not two Disney Springs ones. One's in Disney Springs, the other one is in Animal Kingdom Park. So I'm really excited to get into this. I just, you know, seeing where we kind of stand yeah, on both. definitely. So, all right, well, you know, let's jump into it then. Buckle up, it's time for us to start talking Disney. Let's go. So, for these kinds of episodes, we usually, each of us takes one of the restaurants, yep. um, usually the one we prefer over the other, and we kind of compare, contrast, and then, yeah, like, it's, this, this one was really hard, yeah. because it could have gone either way, so it yeah. really was just a, you take, you take this, right, I'll take that. and I'll take that. So, I wound up on the Yak and Yeti side, you wound up on the Boathouse yes. side. Yes. Oh, my hands are messy today. <laughs> <laughs> and... It's not even so much as like a pick one over the other this week. This is just like really, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong either way. Right. So we'll leave it up to you guys as to which one you guys like more. Drop a comment down below, like, subscribe, share. But let us know which one you of these you like more and let us know some restaurants you want us to debate in the future and talk about in yes, the future. Yes, yes. So we, you know, we want to hear from you guys. So why don't you start, get us going on the Boathouse. The Boathouse. Well, the Boathouse, Disney Springs. It's part of the Gibson Restaurant Group. Um, it's waterfront dining right. at, at um, Disney Springs. It's um, features steaks and seafoods. Um, it's known for its amphibian cars, amphibious cars. Yeah. Those are the cars that drive and then drive into the water. Pretty cool. Yeah, those Although, are really cool. They always look like they're gonna sink to me. I they know, they don't really let ride low, low, low. They do, low like the, the water, back's like, like yeah, they sink right down in there, yeah. It's, yeah, one can only away from. You're out. Yeah. yeah, don't go after you eat. Yeah. So um, I have to say, start to, for starters, the rolls at this place so good. are out of this world. So good. Right. So like good. unreal. And the atmosphere is great. You can eat. Um, it's huge. I was shocked at how big it is. Yeah. It's room after room after room. Um, you can eat indoors. You can eat out on the patio. You can eat at the bar on the dock. Or on the dock, and yes. when you it's a like free floating dock, you gotta you do bob, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you kind of like if you're seasick, yeah, careful, careful, absolutely. So. Or if you have a little too much, careful. That, that too. Yeah. So <laughs> it'll almost like trick you into thinking you have too much though, because it yeah. you can you, you, you kind of bob and you're like, yeah, oh, no. yeah. So. so um, we've had a few things here. Yes. The um. Appetizer, firecracker shrimp, $16. Um, sriracha, mayo with the shrimp and orange um, chili sauce. Delicious. Dessert. Delicious. I think your father, he's a big appetizer person for a meal. And this, like, fills him right up. Too. Yeah. He, he loves, loves, loves this yes. firecracker shrimp. He does. Um, you'll see a trend with this. This is the second time I've mentioned him with a firecracker thing. Yeah. And, and it's coming again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We had the classic burger, which is, you know, it's, classic burger, yeah. it's good. It's a good size burger, fries. Right. It's good. I mean, I, uh, there's nothing, nothing to, complain to complain about. about. I mean, right? it's very good. I've had, in the past, had uh, the burger's $18. I've had the main lobster roll, which I wanted to try being from um, New England. Right. Twenty nine fifty for this lobster roll. Twenty nine fifty. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But like, mm, no, no, get me at Petey's, get me at the Beach Plum, get me there, get me a lobster roll from there and, you know. And just kind of, yeah, go. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's it's, a tough one. That's a tough that's one to swallow tough. for a New Englander going yeah. out and having a lobster I roll. I wanted to try it. I mean. <clears throat> but it's Disney, so we always know things are going to be yeah. a little heavy handed on price. Right. So, yeah. 
Um, I've had the jumbo la the jumbo lump crab cake, which is um, comes with coleslaw, chipotle, and tata sauce. Very good. This is twenty five dollars. You get one big lump crab cake, hmm. and it's not a lot of fillings. It's a lot of crab. This is really good. Something I would recommend if you're not starving. If you're hungry and you want, this is a good thing to get. Right. It's, it's really good. Um, and you and I both had the last time the Yacht Club Club. So good. Which is $17.50 and it's um, roasted turkey breast, cucumbers, bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado, chipotle honey mayo, Swiss cheese on a multigrain bread. Yes. Delicious. So good. Delicious, deli like shocking. I'm like, For a oh, club. Like, yeah. a cl like a I'm sandwich? Like, oh, let's just get a sandwich. Yeah. It was a little late. We were a little hot, you know. We both took a bite. Like, are you kidding? Yeah, like this is fabulous. Right, it was so, <laughs> so good. So good for seventeen fifty. I mean, and it's a steak and seafood place. I'll take the current turkey club, please. And it was massive. It was massive. Like a huge sandwich. Yeah. I couldn't believe yeah, it. Yeah, to the point where we took half back with us. Yeah, and not like kind of like half, half the sandwich. sandwich. I was, it was just like there's nothing I can eat with that. Yeah. Like, Too just much. not gonna eat it. Right. Um, the drinks they have a. Duck, duck, raz, which is raspberry stoli, peach schnapps, blue carico, lemon juice, and um, a simple syrup. We'll drop that picture in here. Very cute. You get to keep the duck. It's a good drink. Um, $13. I had a classic mug. We'll drop that in there too. And that was very good. Yeah. I, mean, I can't say anything bad about this place. I mean, other than the $29.50 for a lobster roll, that's good. That's, yeah. I mean... But, if you're not from um, New England, it's probably the best thing you've ever eaten. Right, and I and I wonder if lobster is just a little more expensive. Maybe in Florida. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't know you, how often you're eating a Maine lobster in Florida. Yeah, I mean that was shame on me, right? Right, I mean I had to get there somehow. So and they do so their desserts. Everything at this place is good. Everything. Make a reservation. Make a reservation. Yeah, you definitely. If you want to try it, you don't want to miss it. It's yeah. definitely a high recommended kind of place. Um, for both of us so I would definitely yeah. say make a reservation yeah. get in there and and then like there's even things on that weren't on your menu like those um those sliders the uh yes the filet mignon, the sliders. Filet mignon sliders are so ridiculously good. good so good which is actually why I wanted to wind up with the club because they were out of the sliders that's right they and so I wound up with the club and I was very pleasantly surprised so yeah. Everything, everything really is delicious here, and it has a great atmosphere. The servers are out of this world. Yeah, absolutely. If you can hit it at like sunset, it's beautiful sitting at Disney Springs on that water, watching the sunset from the dock. With like a full view too, like you just get to see all around Disney Springs. It's so nice. It's beautiful. So big fan. We love the boathouse. Absolutely. But now let's pivot, and let's talk yeah. Yak and Yetis. So, can I just set, yes. give my little pre yak and yeti? So, years ago, we tried yak and yeti. Your father and I tried yak and yeti. I hated it and refused to go back. Like, that's it. You, you get like one and a half tries with me, and I'm like, done. Refused to go back. The food, I didn't like the food, didn't like this, didn't like that. Was reading a review one day of firecracker shrimp. Common thing, yeah. Common thing. And said, your father said, well, let's just try it. I went kicking and screaming, whatever. Fast forward to now, and it's like a staple of our trips now. Yes. Like we go every time. Every time, yeah. When we are at the Animal Kingdom, that's where we eat that day. Yeah. And it's it's gotten so much better. I mean, it was so bad that you, you and dad both were like, that place is, like we're done with it. And... Now, the food, so <laughs> dad does love appetizers. Yes. And Yak and Yeti's is like the prime place so far I've eaten at for appetizers. Yeah. We ordered only appetizers yeah. this last time we went, and it was so good. good. And so much food. So much food. So much food. And yes, we did get the firecracker shrimp. Which is delicious. Which was so good. We got... um the egg rolls, yeah. we got the chicken fingers, the with, rice, the rice, and we didn't get the pot stickers. No, we got 
Ooh. We've got um, a beef dish, I think, right? Like yeah, something like something good. Some spicy. Yeah, it was Korean beef. There was a lot it of was stuff. Delicious. It, was, it was delicious. It was delicious. It was very good. Um, and way more, way more food than I expected. And we actually didn't finish. We did not everything. finish that either. So. Um, you get plenty of food there. I really like like the decor. It's nice. It's pretty inside. Yes. I think one of the prime parts of Yak and Yeti is its location, though. I think it's so cool where it's like you're between Everest and like the monkeys and um, Kali River Rapids. I think that's really neat. Um, and I really just I'm so shocked at how good Yak and Yeti actually is. It is so good. Um, and there's a lot of food to choose from on there. Yes. Menu. And they're part of the Landry Group, so you can go online and get a Landry card. And I think we've talked about this before. It's $25, and you get that $25 back in rewards or whatever it is. And um, that gets you to um, the front of the line with reservations and stuff like that. Like, we didn't have a reservation. Tried get, And I tried getting one again for May. It's already booked for May. And... Um, but with your Landry card, you, they'll give you preferred seating. They'll, you know, you might have to get there when the restaurant opens at 11 o'clock, but you'll get in. Right. So with the reservations, I do want to say that a lot of people are like, well, it's only at 30 some odd percent capacity. How, how are they booking up? Well, because the restaurants are too. So like right. the restaurants are at a reduced capacity. So because yes. they can't sit as many people, they are filling up just as fast as they used to. Yes. So... Um, that's just something to keep in mind when you go down there is that everything's and 30, at capacity. I mean, 33% capacity is still... Tens of thousands of people. Yeah, 30,000 like, people. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, because so. right, Epcot can hold 100,000 people. Animal Kingdom can hold 100,000 people just about. And, yeah. yeah. So you're looking at like 30,000 people. And at a place like Animal Kingdom, there's not... There's not a lot, there's not a lot right, of Right, not a lot of restaurants. And they, don't, they don't have all the restaurants open yet. Right. So... Things fill out. It's definitely something to think about. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you got a drink while we were there, correct? I did. I don't, I didn't drink, I don't drink that much, but, um. Drinks are always good there. Yeah. I mean. It's always like, I really can't find a flaw with the Yak and Yetis at this point. Like, everything I've eaten there has been good. It's been right, fresh. Right, we've done it's meals. Been, it's fresh. It's. It's just good. So this is why this week we kind of, we, we pitched our, we were talking, we were kind of coming up with our idea and we came up with the Boathouse and Yak and Yeti and then I said, all right, which one do you want? And I was like, ah, because it's just, they're both so good and it's really, it's a compliment to Disney because I think one thing that Disney's been knocked for in the past has Absolutely. been its food. Yeah. Um, that was always a common knock is that it's like, oh, you know, it's burgers. It's burgers. Like, yeah. Right. Not but anymore. Not anymore. Now it's with Disney Springs and with these like sit down restaurants in the parks, Disney's taking it to another level. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, the only downfall with Yak and Yeti is you need to have admission to the park. Right. And that's what makes that a little more difficult. So all of a sudden it is, a, you know, don't go to the Animal Kingdom strictly to go to Yak and Yeti's. But, right. But once you're in the Animal Kingdom, if you have to eat somewhere, there you go. Like, Absolutely. I mean, it's not that, I mean, Flame Tree Barbecue is almost as expensive as it is anyway, and that's a quick service. So. Right. I mean, you can walk out of there. It can be expensive at Flame yeah. Tree, and I don't find Yak and Yeti's prices to be that offensive. So no, absolutely not. Um, it's really something that I'm pleasantly surprised at, and I find to be a really great restaurant. Yeah, considering absolutely. considering where <laughs> where it started with our family and where it's ended up, Yak and Yeti's is so good. The Boathouse is so good. Oh man, now I'm really hungry. Um. <laughs> I can't wait till May. Can't wait till May. So, if you had to pick one. Oh. Um. I don't know. I don't it's know. It's tough. It's definitely I tough. Mean, I'd say Yak and Yetis, but I don't know. Um. It's a, it's a tough call. So if I had to pick, because I asked the question, I'll answer the yeah. question. It's a tough call. If I had to pick, I like spicy food a little more than I like regular food. So I would yeah. take Yak and Yeti's because some of the food there can get real spicy and it's still really tasty. And that put it over the top for me. I like that. Right. That kind of I'm heat. just trying to think of like, I like, I like things that I can't normally get. Right. I don't want to say 
Oh, it's Asian food. Right. It's not Chinese food. It's Asian food. Um, can I get that around here? Maybe. Can I get it as good? No. No way. Can I get it a uh, turkey club around here? Yeah. yeah. Can I get it as good? No. Absolutely not. Not that turkey club. You're not finding that around right. here. Right. I mean, the rolls are out of this world here. The firecracker shrimp is out of this world. The, the crab cake is delicious. I don't know. I think it might just I be a push. Yeah, I think so. so. Can't pick. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> what would you pick? Right, let us know what you'd pick because we've now laid out, you know, the cases for both and you can see that we're stumped. So break our tie. See how it goes. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching this week. Please like, subscribe, share. We are DizNE on Facebook and on Inst and on YouTube, on Instagram. We are Diz underscore New England. Give us a follow. Reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Absolutely. Um, again, thank you so much. Please... Have a great day, week, month, whatever it may be, and we will see you real soon. Stay safe.